Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija, where we talk about this real mental stuff, right? Happy Easter. Ramadan Mubarak. Oh, Shalom. <laughs> um, Barakali. Um, Baragani. That's what I should have said. Um, Ni Hao. In, in other words, hello, everybody. You know, I ran across a real, real um, uh, uh, crazy story, and I just got to share it with y'all because this will further let you know how low down the totem pole, I, I guess, for a lot of our analytical thinking, how much it has dissolved, okay? So I came across this article by Alex Passer. Okay, and um, is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air star gave Donald Trump the cold shoulder? So see, Donald Trump, there was a time when he didn't have no money, and that's what's sad when you got a lot of people that don't remember. When you get to be as old as me, you sit back and watch this bullshit, and it's wash, rinse, repeat, right? So then you get you try not to um, over obsess with it, but you can only teach. And talk to those that want to listen, right? So to further let you know how crazy a lot of you guys are by voting for Donald Trump or really loving him and thinking he's going to be some kind of savior, that is the most insane. Because y'all are so young and dumb and you're easily led, a lot of you, and people are taking advantage of that. OK, um, but it is not your fault because the society, the country has done a very good job of dummying a lot of uh, the people down. So and that is white and black. OK, so and, you know, if we're talking about Donald Trump, basically those are white people. OK, uh, the black people that are voting for Donald Trump, they're doing it for some kind of functionary gain that they have gotten for themselves, some kind of money or some kind of monetary uh, trinkets and butter biscuits that they receive, and of course they're willing to do the bidding. So that that's always the story, and it always will be. Okay, but Trump is, and this article right here just sums it up of who he really is. Anyway, it says this fresh Prince of Bel Air star gave Donald Trump the cold shoulder on the set, and you're like on the set? Oh yeah, he was on there back in the day. It said Trump didn't do himself any favors during his brief time on any of the Hollywood sets. In truth, Donald Trump has television to thank for his return to prominence, basically, because before The Apprentice, Donald Trump's status was changing and his income situation wasn't going very well. So reality show gave him a chance to resurface his image. And in truth, he was skeptical at first, given uh, that he viewed reality uh, reality TV as nothing but trash. Okay, but thankfully he reconsidered. Well, thankfully to the well, most of the white supremacists and the, uh, like I said, the black people that are trying to lead you someplace um, to your slaughter. Thankfully, um, uh, um, he reconsidered and suddenly not only has his image briefly somewhat repaired, but he also made quite the coin thanks to the run of the show. So he's a television hat. Right. Because and so y'all know y'all vote on somebody that came on The Apprentice, giving the impression to you to the, it, on the tell eyes to your vision. That he was some rich dude that had this university and all this shit. And everything he got is a fraud. And he steal people money. And in terms of black people's admiration for him, he tried to have three black people, teenagers killed. That's all. He took out a full page ad. And a lot of us remember looking at and reading the ad. And like this mother. That's exactly what we felt. 
Come to find out years later, the young men were uh, innocent. But Donald Trump would have wanted to see them assassinated. And that's to show you the heart and the mindset of the son of a Klansman. So that is the reality for him. So now he went on and there's there's um uh, um uh Donald said that this legendary actor though uh, um ruined his apprentice. But the deal is things weren't going as great during the times he appeared on TV's film sets. The response generally was a negative one. So much so that a certain Fresh Prince of Bel Air star refused to shake his hand during a cameo on the show. This was way before the guy was president. So this is what I'm telling you. People that know, that's old enough that know what Donald Trump is, they like, get this dude away from me. And they're repulsed by him. Not so much that uh, he the better white man than, than Joe Biden. Because all of, uh, the thing about it is, Joe Biden's going to give you a chance to get your shit together before he he destroyed the uh, shit. Donald Trump going to take you there in a handbasket to hell, quick in a rocket ship. That's the only difference. He going to blow this shit up quick because of his mental illness. OK, and y'all can take it for what you want to. It ain't that I'm th- saying that uh, um, Donald, uh, Biden is such a good guy here. Uh, none of no. OK. Y'all already know how I feel about that. I don't want to get excited. And I don't want to get into it. I want to finish reading the article. Um, the story goes that the cast member caught some bad vibe from the former president. And in addition, she wasn't a fan of his history. Now, let's dig into the details along with other stars that struggled on the set with Donald Trump. That's right. Donald Trump is still making various royalties off brief cameos, some of which he basically forced himself onto. (laughs) Lots of fans watching the episode might be a task in itself, as Carlton is overjoyed by Donald's presence, while the Will Smith also looks rather happy. According to Av Club, though, Donald is still making a lot of money off of the reruns, well, making money. According to his financial disclosure statements, he's getting a few royalty payments from studios that he worked with in the past, okay? Um, He gets thousands of bucks annually from several different studios for royalties, including Universal for his appearance in The Little Rascals and WB Studios for the press print, the Fresh Prince. Behind the scenes, though, things weren't as smooth. So much so that other cast members actually refused to not only acknowledge Donald Trump, but they refused to shake his hand altogether. The story was confirmed by a fellow cast member, and it turns out that even back then, some people weren't on par uh, with her personal views. Y'all already know. That's right. The late great Uncle Phil did extend his hand towards Trump. But the new Aunt Viv was not willing to do so at all. She was not willing to do the same. According to the star, she instantly got a bad vibe from Donald. And in addition, she had a bad she had heard all these bad stories about him anyway coming out of New York. Here's her words. I didn't like him. I had news from I had news from New York firsthand. I knew already who he was, she said. Now I want you guys to put this in context. This is way before Donald Trump even became president. Okay? All right. Years later, Ann Rodeman was able to confirm this story. She stated that this very much took place and Aunt Viv held her own, listening to her gut. It was so wonderful. I was like, is she going to, uh, is she going to shake his hand? And when he leaves, you're like ready to kick his ass. It was so good. Oh, oh, she's not going to shake his hand. 
That's right. We're all well aware by now Aunt Viv wasn't the only one to get his kind of this kind of vibe. In truth, it took place a lot for Donald, especially when he showed up on the film uh, on the sets of film or TV sets. For the most part, it seems as though he forced himself into films, not only for a brief moment for fame and power. There are a few celebs out there that have confirmed this story as well, including the Matt likes of Matt Damon, Macaulay Culkin. Um, I think that was that brief appearance he did in Home Alone, and Daniel Radcliffe. If the plan was to use Trump's buildings, chances are that there was a deal in place that had forced him to appear in the film. Matt Damon would confirm this rumor, stating that Donald forced himself, just forced himself, onto a scent of a woman. The deal was that if you wanted to shoot in one of his buildings, you had to write him in a part, Damon said. Martin Bress had to write something in the scene of a woman, and the whole crew was in on it. You have to waste an hour of your day with a fucking shot. Donald Trump walks in and Al Pacino's like, hello, Mr. Trump. You had to call him by name and then he exits. You waste a little time uh, so that you can get the permit and then you can cut the scene out, Damon added. But I guess Home Alone, too, they had to just leave it in. Calkin was another actor that expressed deep regret for Donald's Home Alone appearance. In the recent rerun, his part was cut out, much to the pleasure of the child star and his fans. We can also add that Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe to the list. We can add him to the list, rather. He called Donald Trump's arrogant during the brief engagement behind the scene. In truth, Trump didn't do himself any favors do his, during his brief time here in Hollywood on these sets. Um, it said uh, he he was arrogant and pompous, to say the least. And then um, uh, um, Hugh Hefner, He uh, said this is the moment that he just canceled Donald Trump. Some things never change. So back in 1990, Hughes Hefner uh, put Donald Trump on the cover of his magazine. A rarity among men. In the magazine, now Trump was speaking in political terms. Even then, he was bashing the system for being in disarray, at least from his point of view. I think that if the country gets any kinder or gentler, it's literally going to cease to exist. In truth, Trump cooled down in the 90s and he almost became obsolete, losing lots of money while his fame subsided. Trump can thank both the likes of Hugh Hefner and Mark uh, Burnett for actually really keeping him relevant. Putting him on TV was the best thing for his career. Once the apprentice aired Trump's image resurfaced and suddenly he was making millions again thanks to the show and various endorsement deals that followed. It might be hard to believe, but Donald was initially unsure about the gig, claiming that reality TV, again, was just trashy. But the money came. And the money was good. That is really sick. I mean, and, and for some of y'all to think he's such a great businessman, for y'all to think that he's such a great guy, is to me so sick. This is who he is. He was broke until he had to come on the black show, The Fresh Prince. He's such a hypocrite. And the dude is, and y'all so, y'all so gullible. Oh, God. It's sad how, you know, you could take a nation, really, and shake their mind into clay. 
and, and shape it the way you want to. You a potter. And, you know, that explains stuff like racism. You have somebody just shaping your mind to believe other than what you would believe naturally if given the chance and the opportunity. I don't know, y'all. It's just really crazy. Anyway. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, the gist of this article is just how much Donald Trump was down in the dumps. And then, uh, you know, Hugh Hefner didn't like him, I guess, uh, his Trump Hefner appeared by to be by his side, um, but instead of voters nomin nominated Donald Trump, the thrice married entrepreneur who once owned the Miss America pon uh, pageant, <laughs> it is a sign that mass massive changes in the Family Values Party has changed. And proof of a sexual revolution in the Republican Party. Damn. Oh, my goodness. Think about it. I didn't even know he was even on the cover. The guy said it's the one of the most embarrassed. He's the most embarrassed about this, this cover that they did. His dad did. Because we promote a philosophy that encourages all individuals to choose the life they want to live. And they got him. But he's good with the sex stuff. <laughs> Donald Trump is such a hypocrite, you guys. And that's all I'm trying to say. And um, it takes the dimmest bulb on the tree to be led down this rabbit hole. I'm sorry. If you like what you hear. Please subscribe. Please share. Do a little housekeeping. Email me. Um, I'll be um, glad to uh, 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 return. If you don't, if I don't do it right away, you guys take it as I got a few emails and I'm going through them because most of y'all email me. Uh, so keep continue to please continue to donate to the channel. Please continue to support the channel um, and share it. We're trying. We're on our goal, okay, for ten thousand subscribers. So let's put it out there. Let's make it happen, people. Okay, I love y'all and happy Easter again to those of y'all who sell it, cel celebrate it. I go so fast sometimes I can't keep up with myself. And um, Ramadan Mubarak.